Good morning. Welcome to Customer Effects Web Training. My name is Dale Richter, and today we're going to be talking about SalesLogic Web Client and working with the calendar. Now, why don't you put me in pause for a second, get a cup of coffee, and then sit back for a couple minutes and learn all about the calendar. Hold on just a second while I switch over to my web client. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and click down here on my calendar in the web client. And my calendar view comes up here. And you'll notice up at the top of the screen we have the option to choose one of three different views. So it has a one on here, so for a single day view we can click on that. And that's the view we're currently looking at. Or the one with the seven on it, that's a week view. So if I click on that, you'll see that we see the entire week there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on the right side here. And of course, if we move forward over on the left month calendar here, it will move forward now week by week. And the same if I move backward. And of course, then we can also choose to see the month view. The month view shows us a little more detail as to what's actually going on here. If I scroll back, we can look at the different months here. We can also switch the def to a different month here and to a different year if we want to. Now, I'm signed in as Larry Peters. Let me look at a different calendar here. Let's look at Lee Hogan's. And now with Lee Hogan's, and I'm going to move back to March here. And I see in March, I do have some events over on the left-hand side here. I can open one of them just by clicking on the hyperlink here. And it shows me my start date and my end date, the day type, which they have marked as active. But you can see there, we could have business, trip, conference, holiday, whatever. And then we could have a description in there also. I'm just going to go backwards here to my other page. And then also, we have we see that we have a meeting on here. How do I know that that's a meeting right away? You see the little icon there of the two hands shaking. That tells me right away that that is a meeting. Over here, we have another activity. And that activity, if I right click on it and edit that, that's a to-do, and that had a little clipboard for an icon that we could see next to it. So here it's grayed out. I'm unable to edit it uh, because of my permissions as Larry Peter. So some of these I marked that I could edit, some of them I could not. So for Lee Hogan's calendar, I cannot edit his activities. I can see them, but I cannot change anything in there. So now I can switch to another user here, switch to Samantha Brink. So all these users in this drop-down here show me that the users that I have some access to their calendar. Not necessarily all access, but some access. I can add, edit, uh, delete as far as access, but some of them I may be only able to edit and delete and not add, or I can add but not edit and delete, depending on how we have that set up in the administrator itself. So here's Samantha's Brinks calendar. I can go back to my week view or my day view here. Now when I'm on the day view, and this is the view that I usually prefer to look at, but over on the left hand side then we've got this month calendar. And any day that's highlighted, and we have the 18th, 24th, and 29th highlighted, that's showing me that there are some activities scheduled on those dates. So if I highlight the 18th there, we see that we have this activity here. If I highlight the 24th, let me scroll down here. There I have another activity there. And on the 29th, there I have another activity there. So I can very easily tell just by looking at this little month which day I actually have activities on. Of course, I could just go to look at the month view also and show me everything within that month. Make sure that when you want to switch back to your username that you actually do that by switching the user up on the top part of the screen here. 
pretty simple. Uh, you can also add activities in here. If I right click on a date here, you can see that I'm able to schedule a phone call meeting to do. If I go in here to schedule a phone call, I can then choose my regarding field, choose my priority. Down in the notes, I'm just going to type in here test notes. Oops. Then over on the right here in the leader, if I want to schedule that for someone else, I can actually click on the drop down box here. And you can see the people that I am allowed to schedule for. Now, if the names are not here, that means not, I'm not allowed to add to their calendar. I have to go look at the security in the administrator. So I'm just going to click on Lee Hogan here and then click on OK. And I, and I can go in Lee Hogan's calendar. and look at his activities there and I believe that was on the 14th there it is there I've got a couple of them actually scheduled on the 14th there so I usually don't schedule right from the calendar but it sure is a good place to go and look if you're looking for open areas to schedule an appointment you can pretty easily go in here I'm gonna to go to the day again look at your calendar here and you can see all the dates that you are open click on a date to make sure and let somebody know that yes Tuesday March 16th I am very open we can schedule that activity then you could right click here and just schedule the activity right from this screen that's probably what I use it for the most is when I'm looking for open space to fit an activity in some place using the calendar in conjunction with the activities is what I recommend not just using one or the other uh, as we saw in another webinar I like to use the activities to complete phone calls and look at what phone calls I have out there. And the calendar I usually use more for um, appointments and scheduling appointments. This webinar has been about the SalesLogix web client. And in here, we have been looking at the calendar. Um, as I said in another webinar, we looked at the activities, now looking at the calendar. Uh, between the two of them, we should be able to work pretty efficiently uh, with our activities for our contacts and accounts. I want to thank you all for joining me this afternoon and have a great day.